But yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna start. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Go. Let's go. Ooh. Barney's gone. <laughs> Introdu- we can introduce ourselves later. So, uh, Kovic, you want to explain what the heck just happened here? <laughs> Alright, so what we did is a first save load, which is making a quick save and uh, loading that quick save immediately on the very first tick of the game. The uh, tick is uh, like a frame, uh, it's the smallest unit in the engine. And what that does, it resets the map to the default position, which you can see when you open the hammer editor. And what that does for us here is it places the elevator at the end of the map to its bottom position, so we don't have to ride it, and that saves about 10 seconds. Woo! It Let's also deletes 16. Barney. Yeah. And yeah. It's Barney. Yeah. A noble sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. He shall be missed. Mm hmm. So this is sliding. Uh. Gordon got tired of b-hopping everywhere and decided that he would attach ice skates to his butt. It works out well for him. Relevant so more or less, Yeah. It's basically b-hopping, but on the ground, and you can't turn as tight. So have we stopped um, save loading there after we pick up the suit? Uh, did I not save load? Oh, God. Uh, well, we'll find out if it breaks. So basically, I brought that up because, like, there's a glitch that if you're fast enough through these levels and you do not um, do a save load, um, it can glitch out uh, your HUD and a few other things. And that's not great when you're in the middle of a full game run because you can't see your health, ammo, and all that fun stuff. It is at the beginning. So somehow so save loading after you pick up the suit prevents that from happening. And we're not going to find that out until I actually pick up a gun, right? Uh, yeah. Shoot. Okay. Well, um, if that happens, uh, we just say we just close and reopen the game, right? It usually fixes it. Yeah. You have to restart the whole game, but then it should be fixed. Okay. The thing about sliding is that I, I wonder if the developers intended this to be a mechanic. They they haven't fixed it, have they yet? Because no, like no, it's still in the game. I'm be hopping. Uh, which so, makes the movement unique and kind of fun. Heck yeah. yeah. I think that'd be so, the biggest crime of everything if they removed that. Go so ahead, what you guys it. just saw there is uh, Johan was getting himself stuck in the corner of that, that desk there. Uh, and when you get when Gordon gets stuck inside of it, um, the game tries to unstuck Gordon by pushing him down. But by save loading or save buffering through it, uh, it actually pushes you through the floor and into the next part of the map. and saves us a bit of time. Because you're skipping a whole cutscene with Dr. Kleiner, Eli, and then taking an elevator down to where he just was. And flipping sort of is real finicky. And it used to be really finicky in a lot of places, but we've found ways to make it a lot more consistent. And so as a result, like the two big categories that you can run for full game nowadays is uh, no void, which is basically almost every clip is allowed. And then uh, there's no clipping, which is what Schwach runs, where we do none of that stuff. And there is correct. Yeah, and you're not allowed to phase through walls at all, which is kind of weird, you know. And now we wait. So anyway, you guys want to introduce yourselves? <laughs> I guess it's time. Yeah. Hey, you start. Uh, Johan, introduce introduce oh, yourself me? first. I mean, this is my yeah, stream. Everybody knows me. I'm Johan. Uh, I used to hold the world record for this game up until uh, two days ago, I think was robbed for me from, by Kovic. Um, I've been running this yeah. game since September last year, I believe. Uh, and yeah. Five days, actually. Wait, five days ago? Yeah, I got it on Tuesday. Oh shit, time flies. Time flies. Golly. Anyway, Kovic, who are you? Yeah, so I'm uh, uh, one of the oldest runners still in this game at this point. Uh, I'm usually not that good, but I actually grinded out the world record recently, so I'm super goalie, super happy. Shrock, who are you? Do do share. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm actually so I'm I'm a fairly new uh, runner to the game, long time competitive FPS player, and just got into speedrunning. I like Black Mesa because of its uh, movement mechanics. I find it a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, fairly new, been doing it, uh, I think still a little less than a year. And as Johan said earlier, I run, I, my, my personal category of choice is the, uh, no clipping category. Uh, so yeah. Next cape. Okay. I 
I uh, am Xkit, <laughs> and I've been uh, running the game for a long time, much like Kovic. I think Kovic was the one person who messaged me that uh, Black Mesa speedrunning community existed. I wanted to start a category for Black Mesa myself. Uh, back then, it didn't exist for the, for the retail version, which was on the Steam store, but only for the mod. So I initially had asked... Um, who was it? Uh, Maxus? Yeah, Maxus did the mod, mod version. Yeah, yeah, Maxus did the mod version. I watched them run back in like 2016, I think. And that's when I started running, and like 2017, I actually did my first one. Or was it 2018? I'm not quite sure. But yeah. Anyway, I'm now going to move I... this cart with my mind. <laughs> I don't know why that works. T Mob told me one day, T Mob's a. Uh, big uh, researcher for our game figures out a lot of funny stuff I was like hey it actually saved like a tick if you just stand on the cart instead of pushing it and it rolled it just forward which is pretty cool but yeah more or less COVID yeah. got us all into running this game <laughs> cause yeah pretty much like I, actually that's true I found Kovic's his original speedrun Black Mesa guide on YouTube and I was like hmm I'm gonna try this game uh, so I don't know that's true for me but yeah, it's interesting, right? Because the, the the sample cart in Black Mesa, you can't fling it, and it doesn't move move as smoothly as it did in the original Half Life. You know what? Maybe they have it that like it just if you get too close of it, if you just make contact with it, it just bumps it forward regardless of how you're making contact with it. Because you know if you push it right, it like bumps forward repeatedly. And so if you're standing on top of it, you're just constantly making contact, so it just moves it forward. Maybe you should try like pushing yeah. it from the side or something. Maybe it's the same thing. Good idea. And Good idea. There's no, as you guys can see, there there's no test chamber skip in Black Mesa, even though it's a Half Life One reimage slash clone. Um, there currently is no known skip for that in this version. Sad yeah, reaction. Should, should be should be should be stated what this game is. It's a reimagining by a group of fan developers named Kovar Collective of Half Life One, but it's on the Source engine rather than the original Gold Source engine. So while the content of the game may look familiar, it is way different in terms of game mechanics, just that needs to be stated. Mm -hmm. It's also a heavily modified version of the Source Engine 2, so it's it's not going to even handle the same as other Source-based Half-Life games. Yeah, what's like the cl it's like CSGO is like probably the closest or something, I remember someone ta Actually, Sunset or yeah, something talking about that. The devs said that they, when they started developing the engine for Black Mesa, the branch they based off was TF2, actually. Oh. TF2 is in Titanfall 2? Or, wait, no, that's not. Uh, that's... Team Fortress. <laughs> Team yeah. Fortress 2. <laughs> yeah. Titanfall 2. Started watching some speedruns for that, and it's like, man, that game's kind of cool. Anyway. <laughs> Apparently chose the Team Fortress 2 branch because it was the most stable and had the most features at that time. Probably not so true today. <laughs> I mean, they probably... That's the game that I'd imagine they'd, like, mess with the most. Shoot. They mess with the most uh, Team Fortress 2 as opposed to the other Source games, because the other Source games are just kind of released, and maybe there was another version later, and that was the end of it, right? But TF2 technically was still alive for a while. I just really like the movement in this. Like, I, I could not... I Honestly, I don't know that I would have ever gotten into this running this game if you had to, like, ABH or AFH or anything like that. I, I do not like those mechanics at all. Oof. It's kind of a cruel joke, though, because, like, a lot of people see the movement and are like, oh, I want to learn this game, and then it ends up just becoming, like, an hour, like, half-long grind of just the weirdest, most unintuitive tricks in the game. Oh, jeez. Are we talking about Black Mesa or Half-Life 2 now? Black Mesa. So like a lot of people see the oh, skating nice, and like nice oh, door entry. Thank you. I learned from the best. And like a lot of people see the sliding like, oh that's sick, I want to do that. And then they pick up the game, it's like, oh now I need to learn how to stare at this wall properly, so I phase through it. <laughs> I just run schwock percent. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's why no clipping exists. Movement matters a lot more there. Oof. Ouch. I feel attacked. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how's that attacking you? I'm just I'm complimenting your movement. It's schnutty. Oh, thank you. <laughs> There you go. There will be no bullying here. Just kidding. Kovic, you're bad. There's there. There's our bullying. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it was an accent. Oh god. I could try no clipping. Honestly, I feel like I would be somewhat competent in that. More people yeah, should but... run no clipping. 
<laughs> they really should. I would if there was an, there, there is an IL actually, category. There's some pretty healthy competition brewing, it looks like. Like when I check the leaderboards for um, Earthbound only and no clipping, like there's mm -hmm. a lot of submitted runs for that. It's like you, Kovic. Uh, well, I guess Kovic hasn't run no clipping in a while, I think. But um, Well, I think most of the new runners have submitted yeah. a run in that category. And yeah, Captain Sarlo and uh, Lemon. It's like yeah, that's four people. Lemon was doing no void. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're right. No I'm void. He's a big boy. Indeed. <laughs> Again, I'm feeling attacked here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, Schwak? You don't like looking at a box at a wall for two minutes? That was crazy. Or having an insane first ha first few chapters and then losing it all in Blast Pit? No, I, I, I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> what are you talking about? that? It's consistent. I swear. <laughs> And you guys will see what we're talking about later on. We'll see what kind of RNG Johan gets here for Blast Pit. Mm, I have tamed the octopus. You just have to know a lot of animal facts, and it works for you every time. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. So I have the option on my stream. Oh, jeez. So this is a barnacle hell, and uh, nobody ever makes it through here without getting caught by at least one barnacle. Yeah, I call That's it Velcro. <laughs> <laughs> getting stuck Let's on the Velcro. Out there's no point even trying, so I just get caught by one. So something I, I figured out a while back is try not to put those metal barrels, uh, feed them to a barnacle, because if they fling it the wrong way, it insta gibbs Gordon. So oh, I no. quick save, I quick save like hell when I'm down there, just in case like a barrel rolls into one and I don't see it, and then I get insta gibbed. That way I can just oh. load from a quick save. I was watching Lemon play the other day, and that happened to him, and it was like, what? You just randomly exploded? What the heck? Yeah, that happens that when, a, a when a barnacle spits out a barrel and it does it at like warp speed and just mm. kills Gordon instantly. Okay. Yo, yo this is now. elevator. Yes. Go ahead. Perform the skip. And oh, he's doing the grenade version, grenade. actually. Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was not on the right place there. One, two, three, four, five. I like counting nice. out loud. It helps me time that. So the, the normal version of that skip... Uh, there's like a little L-shaped pipe in the left-hand corner and the water, the electrified water down there, and you kind of surf down the slope, and you do what's called sharking, where you hold spacebar and skip across the water, and you basically hit it, the pipe in such a way that it bounces you up and out of the water, but Johan here, apparently, that's not good enough for him, so he has to do a fancy grenade boost. I mean, it's faster. <laughs> Ish. True. Also, I bully Schwak all the time for uh, those like exploding crates on that bridge that he stops to blow up, and I'm like, yeah, you don't really need to blow them up. But uh, turns out, apparently, uh, I use... don't do that. I do yeah. that because the pound That's I bouncing me off. I usually don't do it, but there, I just got flung off because of it. Sometimes those boxes can give you a boost. Sometimes they just throw you off and kill you. So some days you win, some days you lose. Is this the first time we see quantum paws actually here? Um, I yes. think so. Correct. Yeah. I'll let one of you guys explain that. All right. Uh, well, I know I don't know the mechanics for sure, but for some reason, if you if you like open the console and type on the pause into it, it doesn't actually uh, exit you uh, back into the game. It keeps open the menu, but the game runs on. But Gordon is, for some reason, still like technically paused. So the mo world around him moves, but Gordon is frozen in space and time. So we can use that to our advantage to uh, cook the grenade, grenade in front of us and uh, have it explode whenever we want to, technically. Yeah. And also, and something I did right there. Uh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say that applied to the skip you guys saw earlier where he went across that, that broken bridge. What you just saw was electricity skip where the in the electricity there... Uh, there's a kill trigger. If you walk into it, Gordon just dies. But you can actually bypass that trigger by uh, jumping into it and then save buffering through it. Um, somehow that gets us through the trigger without I'll actually it how that works. Gordon. Actually, when uh, you jump and you hold crouch at the same time, uh, Gordon's hitbox will move upwards for some reason. And in this case, it moves upwards into the ceiling. And when it's inside the ceiling, you can keep your horizontal velocity through the save loads and save load past the trigger without hitting it. Wait, so oh, that's interesting. If that's, if that's that, then could this be used in um, in some situations where we want to hit a trigger that's outside the map? 
Wait, do I not have? Really? No, I saved deleted. Oh god. Um. This is not gonna oh, work. Boy. Uh. Shoot. So. When did you save delete? Oh, I started at the beginning of. I saved delete at the beginning of Office Complex. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Okay, we should it's explain okay. what save deleting is. Uh, yeah, we should. <laughs> Oh god. When you when you uh try to load a save that doesn't exist, the game loads a default position in the map and also gives you some uh, default weapons set by the developers. And usually we use this to replenish health and ammo. But uh, the thing is in office complex we have a skip uh to get past the freezer using two grenades, but there are no grenades to be had in office complex by save deleting, so you have to bring them from uh, the previous chapter and so since Johan save deleted somewhere in office complex he lost his grenades and had to do the freezer skip using quantum pause and some zombies to get the boost which, which is, is much hard. harder yeah oh we overcame RNG. yeah Wait, which which kind of is an early but perfect example and we'll see it again later in pipe to pipe but when you're quantum paused and the world continues to move around you, when enemies hit you or bash you, it actually starts multiplying Gordon's velocity. So you can actually gain momentum in a certain direction with quantum pause, and then you unpause and it Gordon flings in that direction. So that's that's how he was able to get momentum from those zombie hits to get him up onto that railing. It's not it's not multiplicative, it's additive, right? You get uh, or additive, knockback, yeah, knockback yeah. every time you get hit. And since you're paused in space, you don't flinch, you stay in position and the enemies can keep hitting you over and over and you stack the speed. Yeah, this is We Got Hostiles. This is the level we tell every new runner to start with. It's uh, no long cutscenes to interrupt people and it's mostly just movement and some explosive boost, which is probably the most Black important Mesa thing. Black Mesa in a nutshell. Over. Yeah, pretty much. So here, here's what we were just talking about, a better example where you can quantum pause and smack a if you smack a marine with a crowbar it gets them to start hitting you uh, as long as you stay close to them and Did you can just uh, die immediately or what happened there is it going uh, to Gordon? He just yeah so if you don't block him properly trigger. he like runs out or something oh, okay and then i got knocked up and i like bounced up like one of these things here or something so i didn't get the full height that's okay i don't go for this skip it's not worth it in my opinion yeah that soldier is very finicky so we can actually um, save a little bit of time here um, by save deleting. Uh, as Kovic indicated earlier, save deleting loads a default position in the map. And it actually, uh, that way you don't, A, you get um, more health armor and explosives to use. But uh, also, it, uh, you don't have to finish riding the elevator up to the top. It's a little, oh, little time save from that. Yeah. So here's another quantum pause boost up onto the railing. Technically, with the single grenade boosts, you could do all of them without the quantum pause, but it would mean you have to time the explosion correctly with the jump, which is pretty hard, but this way it's much simpler. And of course, it allows you to do more fancy stuff like the enemy boosts and double grenade boosts, where you hold one in your hand and place the other one on the floor. Yeah, it's, it makes boosting way more consistent. Mm-hmm. And so I, I, I think for me personally, my favorite types of boosting in this game are uh, SMG and Satchel. I just find that I can be the most consistent with those. Yeah, so like boosting with all the different explosives like comes with their pros and cons, but generally SMG nades and Satchels are the most instant sort of when you shoot them, the explosion happens. Um, rockets, there's a little bit of timing involved. Yeah, rockets the have like the rocket leaving the, the two. Kind of yeah, the rockets are they're based on the Half-Life 1 rocket launcher which uh, sort of fires the rocket and it hovers for a bit before it starts uh, homing or just uh, it, it flying moves, in general. It moves upward as well when you fire it. Oh really? Interesting. You, you missed the shotgun. Yeah. I don't need it. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. Huh? No Save delete. Who needs resource management? This is why OC is the worst level. Office Complex is the worst level because you actually have to manage New resources. category, no save, delete, or FLA abuse. There you oh, go. Um. Yeah. Way zone, where are you at? That would be a challenge. Way zone percent. Yeah. yeah. Way zone percent, yeah. He's a Half-Life 2 runner for people who don't know.
And every time you mention Black Mesa, then he's like, hey, you ever tried running no, S no save load abuse? <laughs> and I tell to him, have you ever tried playing Zen in less than one hour? <laughs> Wait, is this Zen in this whole game actually one hour long? Uh, no. Oh, okay. But I guess he did don't... He did SLA there. Don't, don't most ah. people that run Portal do SLA, I thought? Still? Or no? I don't know which category is more popular in Portal. So this is so, a puddle skip. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, so he's uh, we cooked two grenades in our hands while bunny hopping backwards and uh, to give ourselves lots of speed. And uh, I think he's going to go for the, the skip here, um, where if you hit a displacement, as you can see there, uh, it launches Gordon into the air because he's moving it like faster than a, a bullet train. Uh, which is, is, is true math. Kovic did the math and Gordon moves faster than a bullet train. Um, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not joking, by the way. Kovic here actually did the math on that when Gordon's moving at full speed. <laughs> you and... have to say it three times. <laughs> yeah. Well, because people might think that I'm memeing. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, and so basically we give ourselves a bunch of speed and we hit like an invisible slope in the floor. And uh, because we have so much speed, we just lift off the ground. It's like, there's like a certain threshold with how much speed you have where sometimes like while sliding, you just like stick to the floor and eventually like the slightest bump will just send you. Oh, what? I just got the elevator stuck. Um, I think saved, I just saved delete. Yeah. A lot of firsts here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I don't think that's ever happened to me. <laughs> I, mean, I was told that you can get stuck in the button and that I shouldn't do this in no clipping, so I don't. Hmm. Wish someone told me that, jeez. <laughs> it's a nice little grenade uh, quantum pause skip across there. So like so the earlier earlier on, this is what I was talking about with like RNG, but apparently Johan has tamed the tentacle here and can get it to cooperate, so I don't I'm going to let a lot someone of else explain so this skip because... <laughs> I'll, I'll yeah, so this this COVID. skip is uh, it's the same principle as all other clipping. You need to get stuck inside something and then do save loads to go downwards. But the thing we get stuck in here is the tentacle itself, which is annoying because it's an enemy and it has AI and you you can't really predict it very well. You can't do some manipulation, but it takes it's much harder and less reliable than most other skips. Yeah, so the, the, the tentacles follow sound cues, and one of those cues comes from you walking. Um, and so a lot of the times, like, what you want to do... Okay, am I going to be able to get in position here? I don't think you have enough I think you got the wrong brush. You got the wrong brush. Yeah. So it follows sound, so a lot of times, once you want the... T you need to get into position while they crouch the whole time. And then once the tentacle, uh, like, once you're in position and want it to look at you, then you start, like, walking back and forth a lot. Ooh, Good times! That, that RMG there. Dang it. So so basically, part of what makes this work here um, and why he's using the explosives when we get stuck in something is to change, add velocity to change direction during the save buffer so it pushes you in the opposite direction of where the explosion was. So he exploded a satchel in front of him so it pushes him back towards the ladder so he can save buffer through and fall down into the map change trigger as you're seeing right now. Yeah, that's technical skip. I will be oh, using this, this principle in other skips as well. Instead of just going straight downwards, we'll explode oh, something in front of our face. And uh, you keep the velocity you had through the save load so you can move sideways that way. It has just uh, one little caveat, and that's the, the block of geometry you enter, which is called a brush. You can only exit uh, from... Uh, sideways and you can only enter it from the top i believe that's the rules that, that was a nice satchel boost by the way thank you so this is going to be the first like actual straight up prop i clip. hate this skip oh, geez. there used to be a lot of these in the run but over time we've actually found a lot of ways to uh, make them a lot less painful and make a lot less of them so prop clip is uh getting stuck inside a prop by pushing it against the wall very very hard uh, just uh, the the engine, the physics engine gives up eventually, and the prop sort of twists and gets inside you. And once it's inside you, you can do a save load and get stuck in the floor. And uh, the specific prop uh, determines 
how good the prop clip is because some props tend to behave better than others. A barrel is an example of a pretty good one which can give you consistent, consistent prop clips. And there's also a bit of technique to it, so you look a certain way and crouch at the right, right. time to maximize the speed. It's a lot of, yeah, it's a lot of like really unintuitive stuff. So like learning, you just kind of, you got to grind it out, take a look at the numbers and just see how it works. Lemon shouting me out there. It's so easy. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I hate that clip. Well, it's it's easier now using a... Uh, lemons and Kovix method of like i i've been doing mine more to the left and i've had more luck with getting it to work okay this to, like, is on a rail it. we are save loading so a tram appears on top of us which is helps us clip through the floor here and now we're going to clip past the tram shout out to team mob oh is team mob the one that found that uh, i don't know he was part of it if it's a weird trick it's it's either team mob or 2838 <laughs> And if it's a fancy, flashy, amazing skip, it's usually Xscape. Yeah, movement, movement strats. <laughs> yeah, movement, yeah, yeah, movement strats is Xscape. And if it's something yeah. consistent and usable, it's usually me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Hey, some of my Zen my strats are pretty good. Be used consistent as well. <laughs> Mostly, actually, actually, that's true. The new surface tension, like we've pretty, we, I think we've all got that down pretty much now. Yeah, service tension used. We'll we'll see. We'll talk more about it later. But service tension used to be probably one of the biggest run killers in the game, and uh, over time we have found. Oh wait, no, what am I doing? Over time we have found a lot of ways to make it very nice. Anyway, uh, what you saw earlier there when I picked up a barrel, that's a prop boost, and basically there's no prop climbing in this game like you might see in. Um, oh shoot, I should pull the grenade there. Uh, there's no prop climbing as you might see in like Half-Life 2. But what you can't do is like push a prop against the wall, and the prop will bounce off the wall and hit you. So instead of pulling yourself up by your bootstraps, you're kind of like flinging yourself to the side by your bootstraps. More or less. To quote Gladys, you use it to fling yourself. A fling into space. We. So here's another prop clip. Certain props are much easier for uh, prop clipping than others. Um, generally, the barrels are the most consistent. Uh, and then this toolbox also tends to work yeah. out pretty okay. Toolbox is really good in my experience. I like it a lot. But yeah. Yeah. With it, with enough effort and trying, you can prop clip with pretty much everything that has collision. Mhm. Mm Toolbox is like a lot more in your control. Like you have to look certain ways to make it work, and it works really fast. But getting the hang of that, generally, a little finicky. At least from my experience, I could be wrong. Yeah. If you look uh, a certain angle, and then crouch and go go forward toolbox can be almost instant it's amazing yeah other times it's just not in the mood and you get this mm. please you gotta encourage the prop come on toolbox you've never let me down before you've never killed any of my runs wait is that it no that's not it there's no way that's what you get for dissing space cone oh don't worry i have plenty in store for space cone you monster <laughs> we'll get to that in a moment. Oh, jeez. Let me check chat so your team obviously. Oh, wait. Oh, I shot. Stupid. Good lord. There we go. I didn't, I didn't realize that uh, the tool. Uh, that and the reason is... why we do this, by the way, is because uh, this door doesn't open unless you bring the tram. But the tram is really slow. Gordon actually runs faster than the tram, believing or believe it or not. And so what we do here is we get stuck in the floor and then detonate a grenade to clip past the doors into the level transition trigger. I mean, all and I'm saying is it's... tram does not look like a bullet train, that's for sure. Meanwhile. <laughs> Are you going to say, Shrock? No, I was going to say pretty much exactly that. I was going to meme on the whole bullet train thing, but never mind. I'm sorry, I stole your joke. I didn't mean it was an accident. That's all right. <laughs> Some nice uh, slide movement there. Yeah, so on a rail is another one of the heavy resource management levels. Uh, there's a lot of saving SMG grenades for the right moment and HP so you can go for a lot of more boosts. There's not like any boosts like in like office complex where if you don't have the grenades for it, you just can't do it. But it saves a lot of time if you have the, grenade, the grenades to do a few more boosts than you normally could. As the nature of Black Mesa movement, uh, the bunny hopping is forwards facing. It's really consistent and pretty easy to perform compared to, let's say, HL1 bunny hop because uh, the sliding mechanic in the game helps you preserve speed during the bunny hopping. So you can actually bunny hop with just spacebar. You don't even need the scroll wheel. 
the disadvantage of Black Mesa movement is the acceleration is relatively low, and that's why we use a lot of explosions to give us more speed. Mm -hmm. And, and so also, space crouch cone. sliding to build speed. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, you just shot Space Cone. So, yeah, space, so space Cone was found by me. I started that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead and explain it then. <laughs> I, I, it was just something stupid that happened when I, when I would run the game and I was waiting. I was like, oh, there's, there's a cone, and I would just, I would always put the cone as just like, as most speedrunners find stuff to do to kill time at cutscenes, I'd put the cone on top of the the lift there, and then over time I started referring to it as space cone because we were sending it to space with the rocket, um, and then that evolved or devolved into me going space cone, space cone, take me away. Sort of good a form Lord. of getting good RNG in the game. So I wish there. Oh my God! What? N A A M. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. One HP. Wait, there's still another guy. One HP. That's all I need. Plenty. Uh, I'll go back for more uh, if I need is it. Is it actually? Is it actually? Oh yeah, right. You got health packs over here. Two actually. Good lord. That's a, that's Thankfully, a there's a medic who drops one health pack and even two if you're really low. Oh jeez. So this is another uh, AI boost. You kind of got to get into the position a lot of times of the of these soldiers to uh, have them. Oh, excuse me, sir. Okay, this is this is this is interesting. Hit me, please. One, two, three, four. All right, sick. You kind of got to oh, crouch bug. No. Oh, I saved her. Oh. I hit the ground. Uh, auto save. Wait, no. I wonder if I can actually get the uh, crouch bug here. Oh no, I hit sticky keys. Ah, <laughs> let's go. Put sticky you keys. Got it. So nice. if you uncrouch like right as you hit the ground when it would otherwise kill you from fall damage, you actually um wait am I? Yeah, you can dodge fall damage in this game by uh trying to crouch precisely before you hit the ground, and it's uh, more harder to perform the more speed you have. So it's not really mm -hmm. done, but it's something fancy you can do. And I bet sticky keys helped you. <laughs> Probably. Maybe it does. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> Advanced speedrunning techniques. We're we're laughing on the fly here. We're using okay. Windows as an operating system just to An get... interesting thing on the the crouch bug point. I, I've been finding in some of my offline practice lately that um, quantum pausing on pipe to pipe just before you go down, and it's it seems like it makes that a little bit more consistent, like being able to mm. negate the fall damage. I could see it because well, like if you can time, mm, I don't know, because like unpausing uncrouches you, right? Quantum pausing, I don't know. Yes, true. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, could have something. Something. Something about it. It makes it a little. It's not perfect, but it's been making it more consistent for me. So this is apprehension. Not much to say about it's this the, level. <laughs> we're in the best part of the game. Two sewers next to each other. <laughs> oh no! The, the best part of the game is residue processing. <laughs> of course. Which is after this. So. Yeah. Residue process. Whoever's there. king of the residue processing IL becomes a trash master. I could actually, I could actually try running residue processing again. Yeah, you Maybe could get a record. Yeah. So it, residue it's, processing. Because okay. I, I have like three different strategies to like incorporate now. And yeah. Re probably get uh, I don't know, 10, 20 seconds time to. Mm -hmm. Residue new processing suggestion. was like largely. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. New suggestion, whoever gets RP world record or community gold, uh, we should create a new tag in Discord that says, instead of verified runner, it says verified trash man. <laughs> Garbage collector. Yeah. <laughs> Res your... I, I've had the record, so. Mm -hmm. Residue processing I, I... was like kind of like a forgotten about. Oh, shoot. Uh, kind of like a holder for. Yeah, a relatively untouched level, but then uh, XK and Table both went at it for like a day or two and brought it down by like 10 seconds, which is huge for like a three minute level that's just mostly minor movement stuff. Yeah. And and, and our RNG too, because if you get screwed by the crushers or you have bad luck there, it's... Yeah. But if you, you can, can do the... make the crushers, then... Yeah, you can do them consistently, and uh, XCAP has some pretty nice little jumps to their XCAP and table, but uh, it's, it's definitely finicky. Very precise. Or am I lying out of my ass here? XCAP, back me up, please. <laughs> Some of, some of the jumps are definitely very uh, inconsistent because of the world ge geometry and brushes. 
Because in res residue processing, you have a lot of these like small, detailed uh, props or uh, little edges uh, and whatnot, un un unclipped off walls, which you can get stuck on. Yeah. Like, really Someone needs to give. Doors. Someone needs to give Crowbar Collective some sandpaper. Yeah. Exactly. Just, just add. Just please add some clips into that map. Capture. <laughs> is bragging about his world record pace here however i would like to point out that it's not so horrible if you're just starting running this game in my I wanna, opinion i want to mention that on this map this next map that johan is starting there's a first instance of what you can do is a tele boost uh, i'm not going for it i haven't practiced it quantum pause boost you know just for you i'll go for it wait no no i missed it but, I, I... um but since it's it's uh, since it's fairly new, we don't do it yet, and it's something yeah. we have to practice a lot still. That one at Lambda Core, I've been meaning to like start messing with. They're funny. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's a uh, a lot more to these tele boosts. Yeah, it's definitely so. Basically, you'll see it later. But when a um enemy spawns on you, it gives you a bunch of speed. And so if you like unpause above them when they spawn in, it'll give you a bunch of speed to the side and up. And there's a lot of really weird boosts you can do with that. Um, but like I think the first instance of someone really ever doing it was Xscape and Surface Tension, which you'll see later. And since then, we haven't really like explored the option quite as much as we probably could have, just because of how new it is. The, the only... flaw, the flaw of the teleporter boost is it's uh, a bit finicky to get a hang of the direction you will get boosted in because the enemy is fairly large and just a small deviation means a completely different angle and the maps are quite tight apart from surface tension which is on the surface and so you get way too much speed for a small hallway it's hard to yeah. control currently there's like only two uh boosts you can do or two known boosts you can use to time save to save time. Pmob says someone did a teleporter strat and first uh, and forget about Freeman. And that's the first case he remembers about it, but it's a very old strat. Interesting. It's in the very end. You can use the teleporting grunts instead of the grenade, but uh, oh. it's not faster, I don't think, because you can explode yourself a grenade faster than the grunt teleports in. Yeah, so here's another clip. Um, generally, the hard part about clips is getting the props to like get into your head, like lose collision. Um, but any sort of like moving wall or closing door or thing like that will uh, inst pretty much instantly remove the collision and you just have to wait a couple of seconds for it to come back. So that's what we do to get this uh, bucket stuck on our head so we can clip down into like a little chute that's underneath here, which usually we'd have to spend like 40 seconds waiting, or Schwag has to spend 40 seconds waiting and no clipping uh, to pull a lever to open that door after the trash compacts. Yeah, that's a, a, me a mechanic in the Source Engine. Whenever an item would get crushed, uh, the item loses collision, just so the Physics Engine doesn't have to uh, crap its pants. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very technical explanation. Yeah. Mm hmm So yeah, now we're in the trash. In the garbage. Down in the dumps, one might say. Okay. Residue processing has started. This is yeah. probably this is like one of the maps which is uh pretty much the route is almost perfected. Apart from yeah. the few skips that I recently discovered but haven't um used yet. That was nice. Okay. Uh it's big really question, not a am I lot to do? Big question, am I sick? Is my movement cracked? I need to know. Determines what I go for here. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, okay, no, it's, it's not. not. I'm gonna go for it anyway. Uh, I think there's a more consistent way to do a little jump that I'm going to do here in a moment, but uh, I'd still use an old strat that's a little bit finicky. Shout out to T-Mob. I'll try it. There's a little white oh, line yeah, here on the ground. He... So I need to jump yeah. off that rail. Oh, jeez, I hit crouch. Oh, I, tr I tried that as well. It's like It seems to be like tick perfect. You have to use the scroll wheel just to jump here. There we go. Yeah, so like you don't have a lot of space to... like go with there so you got to time that jump I perfectly i think it's way more consistent just to jump on it manually slide off the rail and then uh sp use space to jump yeah I like jump off the side yeah consistent that's what i do i just jump on the railing from a bit sideways angle to don't yeah. to, to have more space to not fall off immediately and just do a normal bunny hopping sequence none of this weird stuff yeah, yeah. 
Definitely Resident Processing another level that I need to go back and learn the new strats for. Oh, jeez. Circle jumping, as they say. Circle jumping? Oh, yeah, fun yeah, fact I do, about I do... swimming. Go ahead. Go ahead. Fun fact about swimming, uh, it's the fastest way to swim is to have always run enabled in the options and just hold W. And if you want to go upwards, don't use spacebar, just look upwards and hold W. Interesting. Oh yeah, spacebar does slow you down, yeah, okay. So I was one part, at the end of Blast Pit, I always have a lot of trouble swimming out of there. I think a lot of times because I hold spacebar. <clears throat> when I'm trying to swim up. Here's the crushers. In a moment. Oh, the crushers. There's there's one way to skip all three crushers at the end, which is uh, quite quite difficult. I would say you have, you have to have really precise movement to get through all the all of these three last ones. Yeah, but when it usually works, you it make sick. Yeah, usually you make a stop in between the two. If you had a second satchel, you could probably do it. No. You I'm make suffering. your HP really tight though, because you'd have to dodge all the trip mines yeah. later in the level. Which are right here. Wait, that does 50 damage? What the heck? I'm suffering. Oh, jeez. Oh, um, well. This oh, is boy. interesting. Um, Okay, there we go. We're back here. Alright, well, it's been a while since I've gotten super stuck on this, but oh well. There we go. And first shot on that. Okay, we're bullying again. Looking a little questionable. I see what you did there. Oh, geez. I didn't even mean it. Oh, God. <laughs> well, the next level coming up is everybody's favorite. Probably the most... ethics. Yeah. Probably the most... Oh, here's a fun little thing. There's a there's a loading zone floating. Like a tiny little, like, one cube loading zone floating in the air there. If we jump on the box, we can hit it. And it saves a tiny bit of time because that way we don't have to climb with the ladder in front of me, which you'll see here in a moment. But yeah, questionable ethics no is... Idea. I personally think that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's like the devs just forgot it there. And then one day, Timo was just like, hey, look at this guy. He's like, wait a minute. Um, so this is probably the most through the blender, I'd say, we put the game. Uh, just absolutely shredding a level. Oh, geez. Fine, I'll do it the other way. My fingers don't want to work. Embrace the aim. You got to practice. Just kidding. On pause booster. Cool. There we go. There's a little piece of wood you can shoot on a door there, and it's technically faster, but my aim sucks. Um... So, I just do unpause boosting. Has to be pretty. I do the same. Yeah. I'm gonna let someone else take this one. So oh, this this map this map skip or not this map this chapter skip is uh, probably the most hated one by the developers. They tried to fix this multiple times, and we we still managed to skip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's so funny because there's like a. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, in the older version of the game, uh, what we did is we clipped uh, outside of the level on the next map and walked on the skybox and the level transition trigger was uh, jagging out through the wall and so we just jumped into it from the outside and skipped the entire chapter. But the devs found out and they made it smaller, but we found a new way to skip it in this version, which is by we take uh, this gas tank and we push it through the wall. It's the same principle as prop clipping, but instead of the prop getting stuck inside us, it goes, it loses collision against the wall instead of us, and goes inside the wall and through the wall. And then we clip outside of the map ourselves, and then use the prop that we push through the wall to do another prop clip on, on, on from the top of the roof, and we go into the level transition trigger again. Yeah, so basically we go out and then back in, and it's great. And there's like a bunch of soft locks in this level and whatnot, from what I understand. I've um, never exactly run into them, but I've heard many great horror stories about them. And yeah, nope, did they fix that? You... Nope. <laughs> basically, uh, the side effect of the devs making the level transition trigger smaller so we can't hit it from the outside is that when you play the level normally and you go into the place where you're supposed to transition the level and you run forwards too much, you exit the level transition trigger before the map transitions and you're stuck there. And hopefully, uh, I mean, thankfully they finally fixed it in the latest Steam version, but it, that was so embarrassing. 
in, in trying to make our lives harder, they put this level in a special kind of hell. And that's not the only soft lock that can happen on this level either. Ask me how I know. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> you did them all. <laughs> so so there, uh, there's another soft lock that can happen if you run the category that I run, the no clipping, because you have to do the escort mission in this map. And there's one of the AI that every now and then, if he's too far behind or gets stuck or something, um, it soft locks a part of the level where they have to open a door and let you out into the lobby to do the uh, final like big lobby fight. Um, that that whole section gets soft lock, and they just stand there in the hallway looking at you. And There's a secret technique in this game called a shrock moment, which um, is just generally when any sort of horrible, run killing, unfortunate business happens to you, and you have no idea why. It usually it happens, happens for the first lot. time ever. That's the, that's the those are the best. Unluckiest yeah. man in America. If someone wants to fund that research, we can make it happen. <laughs> oh, that that moment would that a shock moment would be um, when uh, when you're in uh, forget about Freeman and like you're just about to transition to the next chapter. No, <laughs> uh, when you're in surface tension and you're just about to transition to forget about Freeman. There's a chance that the gargantua just teleports the, right into the end, smashing you into pieces. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of service tension, we're about to show up there. Yeah, exactly. Probably leave uh, surface, surface tension to Johan and escape because they have the most experience. <laughs> yeah. Surface tension is something. Oh. Uh, some, something we started to work on during the last two months. Yeah, it's a community favorite level. There's just a lot of sick tricks, um, and I think just because I, I, I think the only reason we started to work on this was because like uh, Kovic introduced community goals, and I was like, Yo Johan hot had all the goals. I looked at this and be like, okay, <laughs> that's unacceptable. I must grab them all. And all right, so I just, one just started refining every single map in surface tension. That's yeah, just possible. to give a little perspective. Uh about what was it six months ago maybe more nice. uh, oh, the, the record for the, this chapter was just a little over six minutes by table and uh, after the joint effort of table escape and johan grinding surface tension uh, the record went down to four minutes and 20 seconds it's it's actually possible to get uh sub four actually now Oh yeah, a perfect uh, run if, would be if we if we get yeah. a perfect run. It doesn't actually have to be that perfect. It seems plausible even if we just put enough practice practice into it. So all the boost that I'm doing here is really just giving myself a bunch of speed and then bouncing off a of displacement similar to how we did in Blast Pit earlier. Um, that first one there on the first map of service extension is probably one of the hardest tricks in the game, at least the way I did it to do consistently. That was cool. Yeah, and that, yeah, that was the uh, skipping the damn fight with the helicopter. Um, there's a slightly slower but way more consistent way uh, that I do it. Uh, that was, uh, I think it's Kovic, Kovic's method, uh, where you jump down on the other side of the fence and you use a second grenade to boost yourself off the wall and around the clip brush that's there on the side of the mountain. Um, but oh, yeah, basically what we're doing is we're surfing along the side of that mountain and avoiding a... Um, Kind of like a kill trigger that's like yeah there's a there's a large kill below. trigger that's supposed to prevent you from just jumping down into the water and skipping the entire dam but if we surf along the cliff for long enough the kill trigger eventually ends and so we can skip the dam with a little more more effort so this is actually pipe to pipe which i referenced a few times a little bit earlier where we use quantum pause and a guard hitting us to give ourselves speed and, and momentum. Um, shout out to Dr. Disrespect. Um, <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. this this boosts us to the other pipe, hence the name Pipe to Pipe, uh, so that we can go into surface or uh, the next part of surface tension here. Or, yeah. Yeah. For I'd like to, I would like to talk about the f uh, sort of differentiating between bouncing off of something strange right. in the displacement and just a regular slope because uh, uh, getting bouncing off of basically what is supposed to be flat displacement is what we do in blast pit and in the first map of surface tension but right here this is just bouncing off of regularly sloped mountain to you know tr translate the horizontal boost into vertical height 
Johan, we have a new setup here. You should check it yeah, out. Yeah. I don't like the rocket launcher, and I, I haven't really bothered the, learning it yet, but it's definitely better. It, the, the, the Even new... I do it, Johan. Ah! <laughs> yeah, you should be running this game. Why am I running? <laughs> Mr. World Record. I have the, I have the gold time here. Uh, I found a quite consistent way to get really, really, really fast. Yeah. On this map. Do you have all the gold and service tension right now, or does Table still uh, have them? Most of them. Yeah, I think Table and... You have one gold, I think. Single I still have one? Let's table. go! I think ta Table has two, or technically one, and one is tied. Which is hilarious that you tied to the... Uh, yeah, I tied to Table's record. The hundred. But it's technically still gold, so... <laughs> a tied community gold. Didn't expect that ever. So this is a room full of high explosives, so naturally we're going to blow something up in it because it's yeah, faster yeah, yeah, yeah. and very safe. <laughs> Shout out to Xcape. There we go. Yeah. I, how did I find this? Oh yeah, I was just really yeah, wondering. I... Like, okay, so <laughs> you go can ahead. probably probably explode something in this room without like re it reaching anything else. Shout out to Johan for using the correct terminology and calling it high, high explosives, because if these were low explosives, we would just all be dead right now. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. So here uh, now... we're gonna see the uh, uh, alien spawn boosting. Yeah, the absolute massive boost. This Huge. this is probably this is probably like uh, a skip which I would love the most because uh, otherwise we would have to climb this wall with these all kinds of tiny bits and precise movement. But oh. instead, uh, we just jump all over it using the teleboost. There we go. Teleboost. Like I this. like that name. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I th I think this, this saves a total oh. of like just 10 seconds. I'd say 15 maybe. Yeah, probably a lot. 15. Yeah, I'm no, because the level time. used to be like 38 seconds I think was the... Twenty. Oh, did I not save? Like... What? It did not, it did not save load. I actually need to step right away. I'll be right back. Maybe. You need to be... <laughs> yeah, there you, we were too, you were too far. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Shock moment there. But yeah, so uh, the reason why he wants to save load there is uh, making a save load uh, triggers the tank to open the door. Yeah, I think that map used to be like 38 seconds and now it's like almost, maybe it's even 14 I think at this point. So like oh, that, that, tele oh, okay. that teleport boost is huge and honestly in my opinion probably the sickest, one of the sickest boosts in the game. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> of course. I kind of accidentally found it. I was trying to use the 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 bombs that the um, fighter jets drop onto the ground to boost myself up, but I accidentally accidentally teleboosted it off of the aliens instead and went sky high. Now the game introduces these trampolines, which when we like boost off them with an explosive, they send us extra high, much higher than intended, so we can use them to uh sort of wait what? Too soon. You went too fast. You were, you were too fast. <laughs> no, okay, I guess I got to start using the other shot now, huh? Don't I? Unfortunate. <laughs> There's another way around it uh, where you like blow up the truck before you even boost over to the trampoline or you even boost oh. over that the whole trampoline oh, yeah. section. You can shoot oh, the yeah. truck while mid-air after the essential boost, uh, but uh, you got to have a good that's, aim, so. That's, uh, that's, <laughs> that's a frag movie moment if you do that. Definitely not an NA safe strat, that's for sure. <laughs> Okay, now this map, this map not, has the most beautiful run, and horrible skip at the same time. It's just so cursed and so beautiful. So, in terms of prop clips, this map used to be the single biggest run killer in full game. Um, you could potentially beat it in like a minute, or you could beat it in three minutes. And it was somewhat RNG of just looking at a wall and uh, waiting for a prop to lose collision. Um, because, but yeah, the, we used to use uh, a military ammo box here, but then we found this light, which is not a regular prop. Prop. Uh, if I asked two eight three eight, you would tell me what exactly it is. Prop. It's made of magic. Yeah. Basically, it's a uh, thing. It's, it's, there it's it's some sort of entity which comes with being super broken physics wise, and it can push you through walls by itself. And we found a setup for it. Where if we t take it with this orientation and uh, look at a per perpendicular angle compared to the wall and do a save load, the light just pushes you through the wall for some reason. 
it just has all sorts of strange properties. If you hold it another way, then you will suddenly get launched into the sky for no reason. It seems that the lamp kind of ignores um, the fact that you should not be able to be pushed by uh, props while you're holding them. Yeah. Oh geez, this is the uh, biggest choke level of probably anything in the game, at least for me. <laughs> um, very end of the surface tension IL. If you're on like world record pace and you just like, there's a bunch of like pretty simple boosts, but if you like choke, it's very easy to mess them up. And those antennas on those cars have collision. You can run into them, lose all your speed. It just sucks. But it seems to work for us. Yeah, we cleaned it up there a little bit at the end. Okay, can I not mess this up? There we go. I miss this shot all the time. It's so yeah. Stupid. It's a little finicky because there's a lot right of like... where my game likes to crash, right here. I think I saved. I hope I did. If not, yeah, okay. Black Mesa is a good game. <laughs> <laughs> Black Mesa is right a on very cue, well made man. and bug-free game. And yes. uh, that's the reason why on the version we run, it unfortunately crashes once per run. There's just some sort of uh, memory leak or something. And so because we go through a lot of the game very fast, it just crashes once per run. Sometimes multiple times, but usually just once. And it sort of depends on your hardware, so you can get used to where it likes to crash for you. And it's nothing unexpected and nothing uh, run killing, thankfully, because uh, we subtract all the load times and things like that from the timer. And so mm -hmm. we can just relaunch the game calmly and then pick off, pick up where we left off. Yeah, we only we only time by actual game time because otherwise it would just due to the way that um, Half Life and Source based games, single player games, have chapters and levels broken down into segments and the loading time for each one it would be horrendously unfair for those of us with super fast m.2 ssds versus people who don't have that and try to speed run the game so we we do in game time only not real time okay. otherwise kovic would not be able to be stopped with whatever steroids <laughs> his pc has yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's probably there's probably more magic to the loading times than just hardware because i don't have a strong amazing ryzen processor i have a 1050 ti and i don't have an m2 hard drive i just have a regular sata ssd and yet i have the fastest loading times in the community for some reason oh wait i should wait do you have faster loading times than xscape because xscape plays on like the lowest video settings you could ever see the game looks like minecraft <laughs> i don't have a i don't have an ssd though Oh, yeah, so if we if we encountered loading time, everybody would play it like awful, 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 like resolutions textured. It would look like they were from like 1973. What was um, that setup? So, yeah, you so I swim out of the water. There's a that that run that area there can potentially be a major run killer if you insist on going for the fastest strats. There's like a really precise little nade boost there. Um, but if I swim into the water and then just kind of surf out of it, you guys um, see the discard stream by the way. Uh, oh, is it, no, I was going to say it, it quit. I, want, I wanted you guys to finish so we can talk about that. I'm going to pull it back up. I guess um, you can, I can, I guess you can uh, do it while you're riding down the elevator, actually. Uh, well, I've already committed to doing this, so um, okay. is what it is. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Where is it? Eh. Why is it? Wait, why is it not showing me? Hello? Oh, wait, did it die because of the crash here? I'll get to the elevator yeah, and then I'll worry about exactly. it. Exactly. You could have done that. In the main menu, you never, you never stop. That's why you have black screen in your runs. No, I stopped. I stopped. I have it set up now. Please. <laughs> I fi I fixed it. I fixed it just for you, just so my runs there don't it look is. incredibly it's suspicious. Back. Yeah. So there's a way to set up your game when it comes to crashes that the timer doesn't. Like normally, it tries to like load a world in the background or something, which means the timer starts going. But there's a way to set up your game that when you boot it, it doesn't. So you can, so you don't actually lose time by being in the uh, title screen. And it's just adding a console command to the uh, startup. Oh, jeez. Ah. Uh -oh. All right. Well, that was a little finicky. Uh -oh. okay. We're good. We're good. Oh, it's sketchy. <laughs> yeah. Very sketchy. I blame. I blame technical issues. Not my fault. Right. Lambda core. Indeed. Everybody's favorite level. Oh wait, I gotta. What am I doing? Yeah, save delete for the resources. For some reason, I do not remember this chapter at all. Yeah, so Lambda Core is a 10 minute long level. It's the longest earthbound level in the game. 
Um, but that's not because it's long and has a lot of tricks. That's because I have like a seven minute cutscene or six minute cutscene basically <laughs> here towards the end. So yeah, this is a setup. The this uh, skip here with the female assassins. This setup's changed quite a bit from boosting on top of the crates there to going to the other side to doing what you just did. Yeah. Maybe you used to be a little finicky. Johan's a big boy and he found out that if you stand and jump and then detonate at the same time, you get the most height and you can actually make it from the start of that room all the way over the railing at the end. Wasn't that common knowledge actually? Well, I guess nobody tried it for that map at least, yeah. yeah we, we used to crouch mid-air a lot. Which gives you less height. Yeah, because uh, since you auto crouch, you're technically like... Your hitbox is technically still lower on the ground, but... Yeah, boosting is very... Like, getting a height from your boost is very weird in this game. That's why usually we like to uh, just give ourselves a bunch of speed and hit a slope. Um, but generally, it's like... it's The closer you are to the explosion and the higher... Like, in order to get max height, you want to be really close to the explosion. And also uh, have, like, a high... Like vector of like upwards movement i guess and the, the highest you have that is as soon as you jump so usually if you detonate instead of like jumping and like getting as high as you can you want to jump so you have a lot of upward speed and then detonate so fun fact here and i always like to mention this in these types of events the scientist that opens up that door there is uh randomly generated so you'll usually get a different one each time uh because there's a, a particular part of the dialogue where he mentions that they drew straws to see who would stay back and open the door for gordon so as part of that piece of dialogue, the um, devs added in that it randomly selects one of like, I think six different scientists to leave behind to open the door for Gordon. Do yeah, I have to much... save Elite here? I have very low uh, HP. My, my question for that is, uh, what, 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 would these five other scientists be like uh, in the Lambda core somewhere in that case? You would uh, no, think that. No, no, they're not. Uh, that's much oh, more than just bad. six, because uh, Black Mesa actually has system for randomly generated scientist faces, and they are they are used in more locations than just this one. Yeah. I, I, I wish it was that uh, there would be like six scientists, or not six scientists, but whatever amount of scientists like um, uh, that it would like select random out of and put him into the... Uh, Why was the oh. barrel all the way back? Because there I saved deleted. Person. It's a little bit different position. I can still make this work, but that's just what oh. happens. Today I learned. Yeah, usually we don't save delete there, but I took a lot of damage in that little fight beforehand because I just let myself get hit by a lot of explosions. So I need to. And this barrel is an exploding barrel, so we have to get it away from the hound eyes as fast as possible, otherwise they destroy it. Oh. So this is a, another prop clip, which basically put takes us from. Uh, basically the beginning of the chapter or the level straight to the end uh, skipping all the doing the the pump room puzzles and a few other things this is like uh, one of the this is the large this is the single biggest skip in the game per time saved and it's yeah. quite easy very, if very you don't likely. get trolled by the hound dice it's so e efficient i thought yeah, the largest it's... skip was the big boost in zen no, I don't think nah. so. Oh, actually, yeah, true, 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 true. Because By time, I for like the amount of time it saves on the level? No, the the boost you... itself doesn't save that much time. It's the strafe around the force field that saves most time. True, yeah, you're right. On that map. But I, I'd say yeah. it's still not as much as skipping the pumps. Yeah. Because each pump, when done normally, is at least one and a half minutes. And then you also have to backtrack. Oh, are we gonna use the quantic boost that I posted? No, I saw. I want to research. There's a really cool unpause boost you can do here at the end. Um, but once again, I okay. am no. Oh, geez, let me oh, out. Two actually, nade strat. Actually, there, Ooh. actually, there's a one more tele boost over here, which I don't think you guys know yet. No, I, I watched your stream where you like went over a little bit where you instead of doing that jump and crawl up the ladder where I just did, you use like a vortigaunt to uh, tele boost you just straight to yeah. that hole that I just jumped through. Yeah. So. In total, there's like three tall boosts, then not two. It's which, a good time. Uh, which saves time. So right there was another big debate in this community. Um, whether or not you use two grenades or three grenades to like boost up that uh, elevator or that little reactor area. Um, oh, geez. Well, that's a tall boost. Unintended. Unintended, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. This part is a mess. Fast, if you're fast enough, you can get through this. But if you're not, 
G-Man. G-Man. Howdy. Alright, I'm gonna go for Pixel. Yeah, this this is a fun one. This is the one instance where being a speedrunner and getting in there fast enough gives you an extra G-Man sighting. Oh, because it's the G-Man you usually see uh, in a different place in that level. And he, you see him and he enters a teleporter and goes away. And actually the place he goes to is right there near the spinning platforms. So if you're a speedrunner and you're fast enough, you can see an extra G-Man. <laughs> Not really an extra, the same G man, just in a different location. True, true. Wow, wow. Yeah. yeah I saw someone just... break it once, and I just never trust that I'm not going to lose time when I break the turrets. <laughs> it really doesn't matter, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, I don't do you it. You just yeah. screwed over these sciences that are here to actually save your... Yeah, they're all going to get nuked anyway. Oh, yeah. oh wait, that's spoilers, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it was an accident, I take it all back. Hey, it's only opposing force. Is it even cannon? True. Oh, I consider it cannon. Heck yeah. I consider it the best Half-Life game. It's a pretty good one. It's definitely my favorite of like the... Actually, I guess I haven't played the OG Half-Life. Please! Definitely better than Blue Shift. There, there's two kinds of uh, speedrunners in the source community. The ones that uh, smack the NPCs in, into their head with a prop and the ones that just slightly touch them. Yeah, there's like some are... Is it, is it always you want to like slightly touch them? Because there's some where it's like you gently touch it and it works well and there's some where you just kind of need to smack them and hope for the best, I feel like. I don't know. I, in my opinion, it's, logic, it's game based. In Black Mesa, I always smack them. In Half-Life, I just touch them. I, mm. I, I always touch them and that's, that's, it. That, that's what works for me. Yeah, that's probably the way to do it. And the problem is if you hold it like within their head for too long, the item loses collision and it's a little finicky. At least it's happened to me a few times, but... Technically, I have community gold for both of these cutscenes, so my way is the best way. True. Kovic's the best, <laughs> sta Kovic's the best of us all at standing there and doing nothing. That's crazy. <laughs> and and slapping NPCs. I True. You got, you got some problems you want to talk about, buddy? <laughs> Taking out your frustrations on these poor scientists. So, so there's a lesson to be learned in this cutscene. Don't be me, because uh, I was on a a um, a really fast-paced run that that pretty much got killed right here because I got a little too close to the security guard and it started his cutscene before hers, where you get the long jump module and she opens the door so you can transition. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that sucked. <laughs> I I did I jumped as you said that because like I got so close to him there that I, like I walked a little bit too far to the right. I was worried for a moment. <laughs> I'm just like, please no, Schmack, don't curse me. <laughs> so, yeah, basically here uh, you want to stay away from him. Um, he gives you weapons, but we can pick them up through the wall as I was doing earlier. Yeah. So between between getting the extra ammo through the wall and the save delete on this map, you you don't need to do that at all. Go go to him. And yeah, just his dialogue and cutscene adds unnecessary time onto the run. This is another potential crash point. Don't let Hunter and Rash attitude frighten you. Yeah, it frightens me. We should get rid of Hunter. He's got to go. No, let me up. Thank you. All right. Because I usually do this chapter just by sitting in a corner. I need Lemon to. sits down in the generator. Yeah. Lemon's found something funny. Wait, There's... you can do that without tying? You you pile up some health before the enemies spawn, and then you just sit there, and then as you exit, you just get full health again, pretty much. You just wait till you tick down to, like, 10 health. So there's there's a fight that happens here, but you don't really need to fight anything. You just need to wait for this guy to turn on the teleporter. Um, and he takes a sweet time, so... It's, it's going to be much harder for you to fight if you just keep killing them, really, because uh, a more variety of... Um... Monsters? Yeah. Spawn. Well, touching the ground has something to do with it too, because the Vortigons will spawn them in. I fall off of this usually. And uh, you know, the way I do mm. this fight is that I just run around in circles to make it impossible for the enemies to hit me. And yeah, uh, that too. If you don't kill anyone, only the three controllers will spawn and nothing else. The, uh, yeah. The enemies in, in Black Mesa are very honest and generally don't have any sort of like aim hacks or anything like that. They just try their best, and unfortunately, that puts them all in like roughly like silver one. I want to say. The Vortigons. <laughs> God, I hate the True, Vortigons the are snipers. Yeah, I hate the Vortigons that um, are in the in the in the last map in Africa. The, the Vortigons, I think, are the easiest to avoid because once they you hear their charge up, just strafe to the side because once they lock onto a position, they don't they can only hit that position. 
So what I'm gonna try and do here is yeah, if you they're, kill... They're easy to avoid, but they, like, if you, um, if you're trying to, like, not kill them, or... Are like... you gonna keep attacking them? Are you trying to do the glitch? Oh shit, okay, that's sick. So yeah, if, eventually if you stop shooting at them, they'll stop shooting at... Okay, no, this guy has to die. If they're close to you, they, you, you kind of have to kill them. But uh, those guys in the distance have just stopped shooting at me. And so... Well, they're, stu they're stuck in the ceiling, they can't... It's yeah. Like they can't see you. So I have a few hopes that the next one, like, I got like three attempts to hope that the next guy teleports back there, otherwise other enemies start spawning in there. Okay, there we're good. Mm. Oh, Alright. I got a second... That's what the devs get. That's what the devs get for getting, putting too much uh, detail on this. I'm gonna go grab some water real quick, I'll be right back. Okay. This is, this is uh, why I just prefer to crouch slide around in a giant circle. Exactly. My man. Almost out. And it's also fun. Get yourself into position. Almost ready. Dream take over. Just turned into a microphone chair screen stream. Heck yeah. Oh, Did back. I miss my cue? Oh. Just in time. Just in time, yeah. <laughs> and no teleporter glitch, congratulations. Every Ooh. single time I go through this teleporter, I get reminded of the, uh, how I failed the run because I was like, I jumped into the portal like two ticks before mm -hmm. it was like, uh, actually do we, ready. Can, can we, we just know save how that, before that doing glitch that? happens? The, I mean, the teleporter glitch? Exactly. Exactly. You should always save before jumping in because oh, another yeah, thing that can that. happen if you jump in from the, uh, the slightly wrong direction or height, you get a ton of damage. Yeah, that's happened to me a lot, actually, during live runs, where I'll, I'll jump in and I come out like with one HP in a dream. Yeah. So this is Zen, and basically, uh, Gordon learns to fly. <laughs> and so right off the bat, we need a bunch of explosives and a bunch of AP, HP. We're going to be safe deleting on every, almost every map that we can, because uh, we're, we're zooming, except for like two maps in Zen, because Zen is a questionable level. But... Uh... <laughs> Alright, here start the legendary boosts. Let's go. He does Ooh, the SMG nice. strat. Well done. First try. I definitely lost like a minute there, last full game run I did, because I was just stubborn going for that. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I, I just used two satchels. Slower by yeah. a couple of seconds, but zero fail rate. Kovic has all the consistent strats. Do I have a flashlight He's the with new that? world record holder. Yeah, he is. Not for long, though. We're, we're going for 109 soon. As soon as school's done. <laughs> 109 could, could very well. Very... It's doable. It just Wait, requires, how, like... How, how, how much... I mean, what, what's your sum of best currently? Sum of best is below 108. Below 108. Okay, what about you, Kobe? Um, Same, actually. My sum of best is 107.56 or something. Oh shit, okay, so we pretty much have the same one. That's... Hmm. You're a lot closer for the fact that you don't use silly, stupid strats. <laughs> I would have imagined. Almost like it's worth it to be consistent. True. I would never, though. Speedrunning is all about looking sick. Having My a fast time is an afterthought. Is <laughs> Let's go! I mean, it's okay, you run a different category. We won't hold it against you. Surface Maybe just a little bit. Surface tension can be consistent and sick. True. Sometimes. That first boost is still a little questionable. <laughs> the first? Oh, yeah, the that one. Yeah. yeah, the, yeah. The... So one thing that's actually really nice about save deleting just in general, um, I should bring this up, is that uh, because of the resource management is like split like level by level, it doesn't really carry over too much except for a few cases. That means the uh, IL, like the individual level runs, are very so closely follow the same route that you run in full game. So they're actually really good practice. And as a result, like our IL running is honestly more active than our full game running. Yeah, I don't, I don't, uh... <laughs> which is sad. I, 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 I don't like to like run full game all the time. Really? Yeah. Oh shoot. I can't, I kind of enjoy grinding. Yeah. It's definitely it's a long game with a lot of things that can go wrong and it's it's tricky whereas like the ILs are much more oh geez, manageable. Here's another slow boost where we're skating around some funny clip brushes. You're gonna be you're gonna be more on the left side there. You're strafing a bit too much to the right. There we go. Oh uh oh, wait. Oh. So fast. So fast. Oh 
I can I can oh. make this I can make this work. I yes, can make this work. Yes you can. Yes you can. Oh ah, yes. there we go. Oh nice. Saved it. Let's go. So normally you just like jump right over to where I would to this like place with these tumors and whatnot here. But um I uh I missed. <laughs> is, that, is that their or, official name now? Tumors? I call uh, it tumors. Yeah, Kobe yeah. called it that in his original guide. So yeah, I, guess I think that it makes sense. Stuck. Yeah. They're not supposed to be there. They make the tree look sad. So we get rid of them. This is Your tree map, the man. ultimate. Yeah. This is a tree map, the ultimate test of gamer skill. Oh, and the first yeah. puzzle that we're going to see in the tree map is one of two rehashes of the trip mine room from Earthbound. And I don't know why the devs did this, but God help us all. <laughs> yeah. So basically, tree room is probably the longest map in the game that isn't like cutscenes. It's pretty much all just like boost after boost. It's also why it takes forever to load because it's huge. And here we go. This is the first rehash of the trip mine room from Earthbound. It's the trip super, mine room super in tricky. space. Super tricky. Oh, he's gonna get through. Yeah. Ooh, the head Very crabs smoothly. didn't screw you. Very smoothly. Yeah. Smoothly. So those head crabs, sometimes when they jump at you, they just randomly hit like one of the triggers and just kill you. So it's always, often a good idea, honestly, to just kill both of them, or at least one. Just to make sure nothing happens. I did my way. Well, no, it can still happen with your way. Just from the head crabs just jumping around, being silly sometimes. No, I, I don't I know. Actually, I've actually found out it's not the head crabs. It, it's me just barely touching one of those. Ah, uh, okay. Wait. Oh, there we go. Oh. Can I get this? Nope. There's a little. Yeah, I really, I there. really love that we. Somebody had a big enough brain to do a satchel boost here instead of the normal rocket boost because I hated this boost for so long. And God, I wonder who that guy was. He must easier. be sick. <laughs> no! Yeah, so basically, not to toot yeah. my own horn too much here, but before I, before, um, back when I got into the game, Zen was kind of like the black sheep, because everybody sees the, uh, the, like, earthbound movement, and it's like, oh, this is cool, I want to do this, and then you get to Zen, and all that movement just gets thrown out the window, because it's just a bunch of explosive boosts and long jump nonsense. Oh, jeez. I usually oh, do yeah. mine a little bit farther back. Yeah. I don't. I do the same setup, but you have to look a little bit more left. Left? Okay. There we go. Thank you, Kovic. Very cool. Uh oh. I mean, what I always knew do... about the satchel stuff, but uh, I could actually do the rocket consistently, and I have, I had no idea why anyone is complaining. And that's why Weirdo. I didn't do the satchels. <laughs> this is a nice skip. But then I just I realized the satchel is faster anyway, so... Even oh, though geez. the rocket jump was my baby, and it was <laughs> of honor, but I had to throw it out to, to be fast. Oh shoot. I was about to kill that guy and like, wait, I need him. There's actually a slow boost you can do here, but I haven't... Oh no! Oh geez. So who who found the second bull squid skip here? Um, That's been around for a while. I just stole it from a uh, table. Probably, pro pro yeah, probably table. But yeah, we can just quantum pause and use the bull what? squid to boost us over gotta, here. Gotta jump a bit there. Yeah, I was like on a lower angle, on a lower slope there, so my jump didn't go as high. No shit. I have solo health. No. And sometimes they decide to bite you instead of tail whip you, yeah. and that happens. Where did I take I so much damage in this year? They tail whip you every single time if you're on top of them. There. Oh, they there do? You go. That's actually good to know. Okay, 8 HP. There's some invisible hand eyes here. Let's see if they kill me. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Shoot a rocket oh. there. Oh. Let's explode them. I like that. Very smart man. Right there. Oh, neat. Cool. I thought you knew about that. I don't know anything, dude. <laughs> there we go. Held the world record, knows nothing. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know how things work when they go smoothly. I don't, I don't know all the backup strats. That's like one of the advantages to having run this game for a long time is that there's like multiple solutions to any problem. So if one thing goes wrong, you have a lot of things to fall back on. Except for when you get schwacked and there there is no solution. There is only reset. <laughs> oh, yeah. I disagree with that. You can save everything. Yeah, as long as you put save like saves in correct spots for the most part, unless you save after something happens that screws you over, and even then, you can probably make it work with a little bit of a That's a nice thing about source games load. and speedrunning. Yeah, reloading. You can 
you can you can load quick save O1, you can load auto save, you can load manual save, you can even save delete. I mean you're gonna lose time, but at least you're gonna finish the run. Yeah. So like any we tricks can really honestly be as hard as they need to, and we can still potentially go for them just because we can save before everything. And if we mess it up, we just reload again. We don't have to risk like a run killing trick an hour into the run. Or if you meet if you're me, you just uh reset. And and then and then <laughs> watches COVID. Kovic tilts into oblivion. <laughs> yeah. No reset runs Lana. is definitely always. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, go. You go. Yeah, no reset running is uh, definitely an important thing in pretty much any speed run, but especially in this game, just because of how long it is. You mess up one trick, get a minute behind. Just go a little bit cleaner than that, and on something else later. It's oh shit. Especially in Zen. Like, is it you, if you lose, like, two, even five seconds or something in, like, Earthbound, that translates to, like, one good long jump in Zen, really. Oh, jeez. Ah! Oh, we're good. Oh, nice save. Now, what we just jumped upon is what That's we a call bit of a meme. I used to always say, you know, never reset before Interloper, because you can always save time in Interloper. Yeah, and that's, yeah that's what true. I, that's what I did always. And now, you know, I... I hold a world record, but my Earthbound is still slower than Johan's. I just... My Zen is so good because I always have time to save in Zen, and now I don't have any time to save in Zen. <laughs> yeah. What were you going to say, Xscape? Uh, what we are now on is what we call the Hamburger Island. <laughs> yeah. It look, vaguely resembles a hamburger, and yeah, we hope vague. to one day find some way to skip this whole thing so that we can call it Cheeseburger Island, but... As of right now, we, we have no leads. <laughs> We also call it that because deep down we're all fat Americans, so. Mm-hmm. Uh, no. Yes. I Welcome am. to America. <laughs> Howdy, partner. How are you doing on this fine evening, man? <laughs> That's pretty good. We need to get, we need to send Kobe a cowboy hat. Yeah, so this, this, this is like the, one of the unfortunate parts of Zen is that you have the sick boost at the beginning, but then on this level in particular, you have both the lab section we were in earlier and then this here where it's just like a bunch of button puzzles and it's just annoying and just a lot of waiting. It and really breaks up the pacing of the game. There just has to be a way to, to do this much faster than we currently are. Oh, that's what unfortunate. The? Yeah, it happens. Like, for, for me, this map is what? the residue processing of Zen. Yeah, like, pretty much. It, pretty it much. just breaks up the pace, and it, it's I, I find it so unnecessary. Residue processing okay. breaks up. Just do it under four minutes, lol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was even when I had like almost all the Zen golds. This was the one map that I didn't just because like this little minor movement stuff is is, is rough. <laughs> and here's and the be... second rehash of the trip mine room. With no trip mines. With How'd they yeah, do that? but without trip mines. <laughs> We can actually cheese this one, as Johan is about to do, because the kill trigger is not high enough, and so if you jump into this apparatus, you can explode everything and skip doing the puzzle the intended way. Yeah. So normally you have to like clo lock some doors, detonate something, lock some other doors, detonate the other side of the room, but we just detonate it all at once. Something that uh, the developers uh, did a lot in Zen is make a lot of like... Um, props and uh, just kind of like wall uh, geometry just easy to pass through just to optimize I think mm. but that, that allowed this thing to happen where we just go into the apparatus on the ceiling apparatus and interesting word <laughs> apparatus. you know it's an interesting note there Xscape if, if I may because in the final release version they say that all those optimizations like some of the ones you just mentioned to save on performance and then they go and fill the level with props and boxes in the middle of walkways and yeah tilt dynamic lights don't forget the dynamic lights oh yeah and the dynamic <laughs> lighting because that's saving on performance yeah unfortunately this game runs kind of questionably so we can't really run on the highest video settings like at all fill the source engine. yeah that's that i think that's maybe, like one of the big maybe Go ahead. Maybe if you have a Ryzen Threadripper, then you might. <laughs> yeah. The, it's a, it's an it's an it's run it runs on the Source engine, which is an old engine, uh, rendered through DirectX 9. So the GPU doesn't really matter. It's mostly the CPU. And and even still, it's the CPU speed. The Source engine likes fast threads, not lots of them. True. Mm. 
old fashioned engine, what can you do? Yeah. So now we go to Gornark where we have minute long load times. <laughs> it's probably the worst mama. of it. You 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 do. Yeah, I do. And <laughs> I think I still do, even though I cranked down my video settings. I think uh, I think we actually see the big mama. How much times do we see? Once. Uh, no, 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 not once. Technically twice. Oh shit! Like, I mess once or twice. If you you see times, you see her maybe? you see her when you jump across the 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 gap, and then if you're slow like Schwag, you see her in the final room of the second map. But that's wow, that's bro. It. I forgot to. Uh... I don't know why you always wait in the healing pool. You should just go for the rocket jump instantly. You have enough health. Yeah. The last few times I did, I had like less than 20. That's not enough. I uh, forgot. To... So when you save delete, you have to save load first, then save delete. Otherwise, the save delete takes you to the last map you were on. To the last map you saved on. So uh, I forgot to save delete there, and that's why I got teleported way back. Just more loading time to go around. Fun for the whole Good family. <laughs> I'm going to fact check your your gonar. Bud. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, also Shrock doesn't go for the, uh, the 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 little team up jump, right? So he takes more damage from the rocket, which means sometimes it's a little close, but it really should never be. I do the yeah. the team up the team up jump with a rocket to get it more consistently, and it's still I still have way too much health. Why do I get so much hype from one satchel? I hate this game. <laughs> I forgot about this new boost here. Yeah, it's I keep not really forgetting about the point. new method there. Get with the times, old man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, last time, Schwak, you had 14 health and 25 shield. So you, oh. you were fine. You just need maybe 10 more HP. But you don't have to wait in the pool to have 50 or 60. Yeah. No, you probably can still do with that. 25 shields is a lot. So the way armor and uh, well, health works in this game is like armor subtracts like I think it's like actually Kovic, you know the numbers, right? You go ahead and explain that. Yeah, I, I, it, the way shield works in this game is if you have any shield whatsoever, then one fifth of the damage disappears, two fifths go to shield, and two fifths go to health. I didn't know that that was the split. Yeah, so if you have like, any shields at all, you take so much less damage and can get, make a lot of explosives. Usually, like, for an SMG nade boost, for example, which is probably the least damaging boost you can go for, you need, like... Oh, jeez, I'm not looking the right way at all, am I? Oh, god, I'm disoriented. Uh, oh, that way. <laughs> is that um, is it uh, SMG? I didn't... I thought holding a grenade out in front of you was still a little bit less than SMG. Is it not? I don't actually know exactly. But you need about, like, 33 HP for an SMG nade boost. Um... And so, but if you have like any armor, you can make one of those work like maybe even like eight HP. So having armor for a lot of explosive boosts is very important, which we will see talking later about, in Interloper. Talking about explosive boosts, I think I want to mention uh, the way we do like high jumps with explosive boosts because what the developers I think did um, difference compared to like Half Life or. Uh, other games, source games, is that um, when you when you nade boost, you do, you don't get as much as height as you get speed. So to to actually get height, we use slopes to gain that height. Yeah. So it's uh, it's a lot. Yeah. It, that's sorry, that's something going. that's something we do a lot in uh, in Zen. Yeah, it's a lot easier to get horizontal, and then if you convert that with a slope to vertical speed. It's usually it's how we go there, uh, Sloping is done in Half-Life 2 as well, but uh, here it's a lot more important because of the long jump module, because that one only gives horizontal and not much oh, what? height. Let me out. Hello. Okay. Ooh, don't hit the trigger. You, you okay, you're good. Big mama. I did, I'm sorry. I didn't rip to anyone with arachnophobia in chat, even though it only has four legs. So according to Kovic, that meant you were slow. Yeah, I was. I got stuck there on the lily pad. I wasn't holding crouch. Sometimes it like it keeps you crouched underwater even when you let go, and it's really weird. I don't like it. Physics for like exiting water are quite finicky. Yeah, that's part of why I do the grenade strat on the elevator in Unforeseen Consequences at the beginning of the game. I just as, the less I can touch water, the better, because I do not understand how that stuff works. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you guys doing? Nice loading times. Wait, I didn't get the save load. Uh, the save fleet. Oh my god, now we're gonna be here longer. <sighs> Damn it, Force. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it in an accident. <laughs>
Okay, well, it's all spinning right now. It's still going. I thought it would be over. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, another one. No, we're we're still in this. Oh, jeez. Good game. Good loads, Johan. Well done. Thank you. I put a lot of I put a lot of pride into my loads. And there she goes. Bye. <laughs> now we never look at her again. I think, I think oh yeah, that, I forgot I think... about that sighting. You're right. I think that's the last time we see Big Mama, maybe. Okay, so normally you see her twice, and if you're Schwak, you thrice. <laughs> I like Big Mama, what can I say? Golly. I am missing a satchel. It's annoying. Should be fine. No, you're not. Yeah, you, you have six satchels going in here, because I used to do... Oh, wait, no, no, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right, you're right. No. Yep. You're, you're good. True. It's two for right. this and two for the last one. Kovic, explain this. Uh, so, the funny thing here is that the ceiling in this specific place just doesn't have any collision set by the developers. Yeah. And the reason for that is Gonark used to get stuck here a lot. And the way they solved it is they just made the ceiling not have any collision. What do you guys do to not get stuck in the, like, the other side there? Because I'm very bad about that. And so once we found that this little piece of ceiling, for no reason, just doesn't have collision, we instantly used it to get outside of the normal playable space, and now we will hit the level transition trigger from the outside and skip the, the fight. The, the important piece to hitting that is there's, if you notice a little bit earlier, like Johan was actually lining his crosshair up with like a specific little like corner of, I don't know, oil, the oil slick or whatever you want to call that. So you, you line up with that and then look down and, and release your satchels and that'll put them pretty much in the exact spot they need to be to perform the boost. Yeah, it's it's not a hard boost, but you have to know the setup. If you try to improvise, you will have a bad time finding the, the spot. Yeah. I learned that the hard way. I think my last full game run, I like somehow save and the satchels were weird and just try to go for it a few times and uh, it was rough. Interloper. Woo, my favorite level. Yeah. Probably land the closest the we get to anything that resembles the explosions, the land of the big blasts. Yeah, this is probably the closest we ever get. This and surface tension is the closest we get to anything that looks like Half Life Two coast levels. Oh wait, what am I doing? I forgot. Lord, my brain, it's gone. I remember playing this uh, map on stream, and I used to like just rant about not, not actually rant, but um, I I loved. I love that they made the Vorticans actually look like slaves and have their own, their own lives be, before being controlled by the mm -hmm. by the controllers. <laughs> and I was just talking on the stream uh, how much I loved it to the point where somebody was like, "Hey, can you can we just play?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Xscape is a huge fan of the Vorticans. So you can wait for his uh, mixtape uh, named Long Gong dropping at some point uh, <laughs> next 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 April or, or next uh, next May or something like that. Oh yeah, <laughs> the, the Vordy got the Vordy got rap. Wait, we should use that as our world record yeah. song. No. I forgot about it. <laughs> I think I just I just no, got I shall not give up my keygasm. <laughs> I, I think I was just working on a song and I got like I just wanted to have some voice sample in it, but. Mm -hmm. I just, like looked around different samples and stuff, and then I just uh, uh, found the Vorticon samples in my sample library, and I put them in just for fun, and, <laughs> and that's what it that's uh, that's what it sounded like. Oh, I get the full boost! Let's go! I'm sick. Wow. I am nuts at this game, nice. and I have 46 well HP, done. which is so much. Oh my god! Let's go. Oh, you got it. No. No! Oh no! Okay, we're good, we're no, good, he's got it. He's got it. <laughs> yeah. He's a big boy. Let's go. That might be honestly be a gold for me. Let's see. Maybe. Uh, I guess I can't see because I don't have my splits up or anything. I probably was though. Maybe. I will calculate it afterwards. Yeah, I I I'm, yeah, that, so, that should was... still save the splits so I can check it. That was that was really smooth though. Thank you. I pride myself on my interloper. Oh, well, Back when the full send on big boost, got it before I think full game. Kovic is kind of. I I originally never thought we'd ever do the full send, and then I saw Kovic get it like in the Zen run. I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> this can't be this hard. 
still call it a random, but it can happen, definitely. Yeah. I think I got it. Oh. Just zero speed. No, not all the way through, but I have zero speed, so I think I'm gonna have to pull out that tower here. Here's another, here, that door appears sort of, uh, we, the door closes right as we fall down there, but if we propel ourselves with a rocket, um, we get a bunch of speed. So we can potentially get past the door or um, or we get stuck in the door, which means we can save load through here and we don't have to wait like five seconds. Yeah. There's a little barrel we either? shoot through the wall there. Oh. Oh. You got go. it. Whoa, nice. Yeah, there's a lot of slopes around here, so if even if you miss the initial boost, you can save it pretty well. Oh, geez. Or use the satchels. Yeah, satchels are a little bit slower, though. Wait, there's satchels. Zero fail there. rate, though. Mm -hmm. I honestly messed uh, I guess I, I guess I can't speak for you, but I messed them up pretty much roughly the same. The SMG news, nade boost there is pretty darn easy. I might miss them once or twice, but uh, otherwise they're consistent for me, the satchel method. Mm-hmm. Satchels are ultimately the the greatest uh, explosive boost there because I keep messing up my saved lead timings. No, um, the best explosive boost usually the easiest because you can time exactly when it explodes, <laughs> which just means timing with your jump is easier and all that nonsense. Which is why hey, anything got... using the rocket launcher is evil. Yeah. Okay, I gotta in watch my HP map, here. It's, in this map, we're gonna go for the. I I, I think the first like. One of the first big boosts. Yeah, it's definitely it's this the, interloper for reference has like. Oh shoot! I should have crashed there. I think you're gonna made that. Uh, interloper for reference has like the probably it has like nine maps and nine of the biggest explosive boosts in the game. Uh, I am way too stressed about HP and not actually paying attention to where I'm flying. You should do this uh, with pre crouch instead of standing. I got it. Yeah, I just I like standing during my explosive boost because I crouch for almost none of them, and the ones I do crouch for are uh, generally my least consistent ones. So, so there there used to be a much different, two very different setups for all this, and uh, I think Kovic, weren't you the one that found these new ones? No, uh, no was this table. Was, was found by Table. Oh. Yeah. As much I, as he I hates them. Ta ta table used to do this with uh, double nades, and I found the way to do it with satchels, which is much easier in my opinion. Yeah, this the the strats that Johan used just now are way way better than what existed before. Yeah, back when pretty much back when I started running Interloper, uh, the Kovic, the best time was Kovic's like eleven twenty four, and even that like he himself said it wasn't that clean. And then nowadays, in theory, uh, a sub eight minute Interloper is possible. Um, do we do team op strat? I'm gonna mm, I'm gonna go for it. Oh, the team mob strat. Oh boy. I want to I want to see this. I never saw this before. It's a little finicky, but I think if you really know where to put the satchels and where to stand, it can be done very consistently. Without even healing up. Ooh. Well, yeah. He, yeah. <laughs> it's uh it's a little finicky, but we're going to go for it. There we go. Just heal up. It's free. Yeah, but it wastes time. We're supposed to be going fast, Kovic. Didn't you didn't you read the memo? Speed run. <laughs> 4 HP. I prefer Let's to stay, uh, spend two seconds healing than spend ten seconds reloading. True. It's all about that risk reward. And Kovic in here dropping the mic. Woo. <laughs> Please don't. I, I don't know. You ears. should listen to him. He he's kind of the world record holder now. Did you oh hear? Oh my god! I can't. I can't deal with this. <laughs> I can't stand for this. No, I got to do something about it. Cut the stream. I'm going back to full game running without people. Watching. No, never mind. I don't know what I was gonna say. Oh jeez. Oh, I never realized I should. <laughs> I never realized I could just shoot the barrel. Yeah, I was like laving this room one day, and I'm like, wait a minute, we're stupid. <laughs> so yeah, that, here we that use was uh, big brain. here we use satchels and a slope to try and get on the other side, like the back side of a trigger, and fall into a hole. And this just transitions us next right into the next map there. Yeah, technically, this is, one of, this is one of those really efficient skips because this map might be one of the longest and just True. with two satchels you skip the entire thing in about 25 seconds or 30 max oh what am i doing i'm stupid oh no i did forgot to long jump <laughs> you almost screwed yourself so bad there yeah for my next trick if i can get it shot is escape is, is he gonna get all the way to the end nope <laughs> <laughs> 
Dude, I never have that's, issues that's with that's this one, one really. Day, that's that yeah. one. Yes. He doesn't cause... have enough HP, and I don't know why he's going the right way. The left way is the best way. Yeah, like, left uh... right way, I, I have an easier time going right if I want to make the full send, but left way is easier if I don't. I, 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 I go left and get I, the full I go, send. I go right almost yeah. always. Yeah. Full send as in all the way to the end. Yeah, I always yeah. run into the ceiling there. There's like some weird brushes in the ceiling that'll stop you, and I'm really bad at avoiding because those. You, because you don't pre-crouch. Yeah. Like I said, I don't want to crouch on my long jumps. <laughs> I wear with my explosive boost. I want to avoid it as much as yeah. possible. It's scary. I always go left and never have any yeah. issues. I mean, like, I would say three times out of four, I'll get the full send going left. The real issue, yeah, the real issue is I'm just I'm just not confident in my ability to ramp off that thing at the beginning, so I lose health when I go for the SMG nade boost, which I really should stop. <laughs> it's kind of a crutch. Yeah, it kind of hurts your HP a little bit. So this is uh, going... Going into a uh, big boost. Indeed. Big boost. But first, we got Vordy. We first got Vordy door skip, which not is the, sick. Not, not the actual biggest boost, but actually, uh, wait. No, it's definitely the biggest. The, this is no. the, I guess, the highest boost. <laughs> well, it's yeah, three so this trips, is, three satchels. Yeah. So this is a, a shower glitch, and basically, if you leave, there, that shower heals you, and if you leave right as it does, it um still gives you the uh the it, you basically keep the armor recharging effect outside of it shit come on i gotta do this you got a pocket medic there we go yeah so basically anytime i take any damage my arm my shields will be instantly recharged which is nice here we are the biggest boost so the setup for this is uh trip mines between those two like little flowers textures on the on the floor there and then three satchels right in front I was so scared that satchels were going to fall You, you look somewhere else. I, I look at the little notch in the tree there. Oh, yeah. That little oh, notch there. Oh, oh, oh. oh. No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. Th it's really, really finicky. Uh, in theory, you can make it the full way there. But that's. Oh, shoot. In case oh, you miss. Full spend. In case you miss, there's a, there's an First opportunity to. Almost, yeah. yeah. That's unfortunate. Man, I thought you were going to get it. No, I don't have that shit. Yeah, stupid. I was, I was, yeah, I was hyped. Hey guys, rockets are slow. Until the one day that they're not. <laughs> oh. All right. Snarks into the trash for good luck. We got to use them at some point in this run. <laughs> yeah, you know that that's the big thing. Snarks were used in Half Life One running a lot, and we don't use them at all in Black Mesa. Well, in Source, there's uh snark ladders. Yeah. Which is the single coolest trick in all of Half-Life speedrunning. No questions asked. There are no snarks in Half-Life 2, huh? Nope. All right, so this map was an adventure. Um, it's hard, so I think I'm going to let someone else explain it. Just so uh, I can go uh, focus. So it's almost an auto-scroller because there's a huge elevator and you need to get all the way up to the top. And for the longest time, we just did it normally. And then one day, I found that if you sort of give yourself a boost to get on the topmost platform, then suddenly the ambush at the end of the level doesn't happen. And eventually, we found out that the topmost four platforms of this elevator are special, and they don't get pulled down by the controllers. And then once we knew that, it just started being about, okay, how can we get to the top as fast as possible? And eventually... Johan, or team up, I'm not sure yep. who won, had the Both. crazy idea to just skip using the platforms at all and boost all the way to the level transition trigger. And unfortunately, it is possible, and it's really hard because you have to use all the ammo you get in this. We level. have just enough explosives to make this work. So the, tr the question is, are you going to go for it or just do... Oh, for sure, this? for sure. Okay. Oh boy. Big boy strats. I did not get the long jump. Woo! In theory, if you do it all perfectly, it saves almost like a minute 30, which is huge. And is the single reason why interloper is so, like... Minute 30 compared to what? Uh, Compared to... Well, it's like a two minute something compared to like a 315. The, compared to doing the... Oh, jeez. Oh. I should, so I should you, shut if up. You, if you don't do oh, any... No skip then this map is five minutes long if you do a regular ambush skip then it's between 
335 and 355 depending on which platform you get. If you do the one extra boost that Johan is doing right here to get to the second fight with the controllers before the elevators, then you can get to the topmost platform in the entire elevator. Uh, I think my setup is bad. Get 315 because every platform is minus 10 seconds basically because you're that bit higher. And if you if you do ambush skip with the one boost here, and then from the topmost platform you use the three satchels to go into the transition early, you can save 10 more seconds. And if you do the full skip where you go from the second fight all the way to the transition with all the explosives in the level, then it's about 235. So I'd say it saves 30 seconds. I'm struggling here. It's usually funny because usually this one's the easy one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that bodes well for what's coming up here. It's weird. You have to like, I need a, your setup for this might be better, Kobe, because I always have this issue where I have to like pre-strafe while I'm loading in order to hit that thing great. Yeah, the, the problem with save loading here, which he has to do for the full send because he needs the, the shower glitch. And the issue with save loading on this map is that the FPS tanks to hell after loading the save for some reason in this particular part of the level. No, I almost had it. It's hard to strafe through the hole, which is where you need to get. And uh, my setup uh, uses an extra trip mine for this boost, but that's also a problem because then you don't have enough ammo to do the full full boost with everything. What? Oh, oh no. no. Oh god, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I can't tell if I'm like going to the left or the right of the thing that I'm aiming for, and I honestly want to say I'm going actually going to the right of it. Yeah, I was going to say, kind of seems like you're going right. Nope. Uh, we need like a ton of HP because there's like a kill trigger around that like little elevator shaft. Oh geez, what am I doing? Uh, uh, you, can, you, can, you can try doing the boost without the save load to get the shower glitch and just get the shower glitch uh, later. Um, I think I'm just going to try and set it up one more time and see if I can get it good. Yeah, so this stuff is very hard, but in theory saves a bunch of time. I, so. I should say that uh, the skip Johan is going for here right now has not been successfully implemented in a full game run yet and has been successfully performed in just one IL run, which he did, admittedly. But how, how long did you grind that? Oh, very. There oh, jeez. No! No! Oh, he beefed oh, it! No. Oh, no. We call it. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a big beef right there. <laughs> wow. Oh, jeez. Oh, now I'm not even paying attention anymore, good lord. Okay, here we go. This time, this time, this time. For sure. There, there we, we go. go. Long later. Save, please. Thank you. So here we got to be careful not to... If we if we get any sort of, like, armor healing while we have Shower Glitch active, it'll take it away from us. We need Shower Glitch for the last big boost here. So I need to be careful to not uh, jump into one of these healing areas while I don't have full armor. So we destroy these generators to open up a door, and now... There we go, and plenty of time remaining. Indeed! And this was all the trip mines remaining, all the satchels, and one grenade. Everything was, we have. This was T-Mob that found this? No, I found this one. Team up. Ah, uh, please. No, that's not going to be good, is it? I should have gone for one more rocket. You could try again. No. Yeah. Oh, did I not go for two rockets? I'm stupid. <laughs> Unlucky. Oh, I did not long jump here. I hope this works. Nope. Oh, Mr. This one is probably the hardest in the whole thing because you have to shoot two rockets and strafe properly after the huge explosion. And rockets suck. Oh, I think this is it. Nope, I oh, did not long no. jump at the beginning. <sighs> Good times. Yeah. I'm committed. We made it this far. We're going to make it happen. <laughs> we gotta. I swear it's faster. Wait. 
James, I heard the long jump module that time. There we go. There you go. Yeah, you got it. Well done. Woo! Supposed to be a, like two minute forty, or honestly two minute like twenty. I think if you're super sick, it's okay. We did it in five. <laughs> <laughs> Literally the same speed as doing it normally. <laughs> yeah, probably longer with my load times. So this map kind of gets screwed up because we have usually we come into this map with full health, but because of the strat we did on the last one, we don't. So we got to do some. We got to hope for some funny boosts, basically. Nope. Ah, you hit I should have saved while I was going up there, yeah. The yeah Fortunately, there's a healing pool. Place. Yeah. There's a healing pool, so I can just do that for safety. Um, I don't need too much. There should be plenty. And geez. Now, the way we used to do This is probably the least optimized map, honestly, in the full game. It's at the end of Interloper, so no one really cares anymore. But... There's a lot of really fast ways to do it, but so far we don't have any good, fast, consistent ways that don't involve, like, that. stopping to save satchels. Yeah. Satchels for the win. Yeah. <laughs> Fight me. Who needs optimization when you have satchels? It's true. Here we go. The last chapter, the last map. Get ready for the frames to drop. This is the big baby, Kovic's child. Yeah. I have spent a lot of time uh, nurturing and cherishing this baby to kill yeah, it as fast as possible. <laughs> yeah. Be real careful with these. Who's a big boy? Yeah, he's a big baby. Yeah, don't be me and miss the satchel and have your run die at the end, at the very end. There's a there's a way to save it. Um, if you save right before detonating, then you can go and like put it. You because you have an extra satchel. If you miss one. If you missed more than that, it's kind of rough. You know, I missed one, but it somehow got knocked off the platform, so I actually had zero satchels. Oh, no. I don't know how that happened. Oh, jeez. You don't boost to the side when you're doing this? What? I got stuck there. I should have. Yeah. Uh oh. There we go. So we use the satchels there. Uh, so you immediately destroy all three crystals at once. Yeah, he he pulls up like some healing crystals, so you can destroy them all at once with the three satchels that he put down in the beginning. That Which is pretty actually much... kind of kind of intended because there's an achievement for it. So yeah, there you go. Technically, we do play the game the way it's meant to be played. True story. Hey, I did it. I broke it before the shield came out. Kovic, I'm convinced your gluon gun just does more damage than mine. And time. 120. Disgusting. Is it, is there, <laughs> it, it's nice. Is there a specific like position for this nylon to like for you to stay for the nylon to open, open the head uh, towards you? Uh, you, you just... have to go clockwise. Yeah, I know, I know I have to go clockwise a bit, but I, GG. I a, certain, a certain distance. But yeah, GG. GG. We did it. It's, it's over. It's not as big as a time loss, really. It's just <laughs> seven minutes. Yeah. <laughs> right, <laughs> minutes really. Yeah, true. Oh, 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 do that. Do the part where you can you can like uh, crouch while being confronted by G Man. Wait, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll crouch here, see what happens. <laughs> Is that it? I bet the mob oh, is yep. giving you. Can I have animal fact now? Um, I bet the mob is giving you a hard time right now because you didn't do the no clip ending. Probably. Oh, the mob redeemed an animal fact back in UC. Hey, you guys want to know a cool fact about uh about praying mantises? Sure. So, um, like most like predatorial bugs at that size, they, the females usually eat the males, and the males try not to get eaten. Sometimes the females, just because uh, praying mantises can operate without their head, before mating, the female will eat off the uh, male mantis's head, <laughs> just so he doesn't run away. Wow. Yeah, it's uh, crazy. Bugs are bugs are weird. Damn, nature, you're scary. Yo. All right. Um. So. I didn't do very good planning for what we do next. Um, oh yeah. Hmm. Do you guys want to do IL races? We could just try and, or we could. IL racers. 
I, I actually got to head out here. Okay. We could just call it here. We've already been sitting here for a long time. Thanks for stopping by, Shvak, though. Thanks all of you guys for sitting through all this. Yeah, uh, thanks for uh, it's not, having it's us. not sitting through all this. I enjoyed it. Heck yeah, yeah good. That's fun. what I like to hear. Ooh. Fun, man. It's fun. We did it. Exactly. And Next time on GDQ just, stage. It's just exactly <laughs> two hours into the Wait, stream. really? Oh, yeah. shoot. Yeah, we actually made it before two hours. Let's go. All right, guys. I got to peace out. Johan, GG's. Thanks for having me. See GGs. you guys later. Bye bye. If you want to follow, uh, catch Vok, he streams. Uh, I stream. Used to be every. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Tuesday and Thursday. Um, it kind of got upset there for a little bit, but I'm trying to get back on Sundays as well. But definitely, you can catch me Tuesday and Thursday evenings, Eastern Standard Time. Yep. Good time. You can watch Schwak Rage. We have a great emote for it in our Discord just to commemorate it all. Schwak <laughs> Rage. Yeah. Oh, in the Discord. Okay. It was on the art I made for for this event. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So, do you guys just want to call it here? Or do you want to do IL races? We could also try and keep routing uh, jumpless. Um, <laughs> I think <laughs> we, fun. I think I think we can uh, also call it here. Okay. Just, All right. Uh, well, yeah, I want to eat. I want to eat dinner. I mean, I could yeah. do later. Could I, I could have like some jumpless. Could have a little little bit of uh, promoting our own. Channel. Heck yeah! Escape, chill here. yourself. Go. Uh, <laughs> As, as with Schwach, I, I actually don't have a consistent streaming schedule, but you can find me in Xcape, Twitch TV. Slash when he does go live, Xcape. he does stream for like eight hours nonstop. Uh, not always, not always. True. Sometimes I go, sometimes I go crazy in ten hours straight. Sometimes I go six hours. It really yeah. depends. And then streaming Man. times, the streaming times are super random as well. Like, yeah. Yeah, you, you have to be lucky. It's like a random. Just <laughs> it's a random encounter and uh what is it you also have yeah. great uh channel rewards to make you do push-ups oh, yeah. <laughs> midstream yeah. and those are always funny gotta, gotta, gotta gain gotta gain Heck those yeah. gains dude all right thank you and uh kovic you want to talk about where the people can find you and what sort of things you'll be up to uh, mr world record okay. yeah uh they can find me on twitch tv slash the kovic and uh, i stream about as regularly as uh, the blood moon appears usually sometimes <laughs> i just grind something i'm probably gonna do uh, some streams in the near future probably do uh, some schwach percent runs and i also want to get world record in indiana jones i thought so, you had it did someone take it away from you yeah i, I got beaten today actually ah serves you right <laughs> how's it feel <laughs> <laughs> uh, also something i've been meaning to ask you for the longest time in your in your Black Mesa No Void Clip guide that you released like back in April, you refer to yourself as the Kavish. Have we been saying it wrong this whole time? <laughs> Say it whatever way you want. I don't care. Kavish, no. <laughs> From now on, we shall uh, <laughs> call you Kavish. Oh God, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it was an accident. <laughs> okay. Well, yep. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you everybody for watching. <laughs> Eleven says I wanted to ask the same thing. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you guys for commentating. And uh, I'm going to end the stream now. So bye-bye. All right, bye. None of you are ever going to pronounce it correctly, so don't even bother. <laughs>